Whenever I give a tour of downtown Marquette, the first thing that I mention is that it, downtown Marquette, was shaped by two things. It was shaped by fire and it was shaped by railroads. And the latter is especially true when you're talking about one of the iconic buildings of downtown Marquette, the Savings Bank Building. Standing on the corner of Front and Washington since 1891, the Savings Bank Building may be the most photographed building in downtown Marquette. And one of the most frequently asked questions about the building is, why is it so narrow in the back? The answer, of course, is because of railroads. The Savings Bank Building was constructed when Marquette's Lower Harbor was filled with working docks. And one of the rail lines that accessed both the old Jackson Dock and DSSNA Dock Number 4 went right through the heart of downtown Marquette. So when they built the Savings Bank, they actually had to conform it to an existing rail line. There aren't many good pictures, but this one might give you an idea. The Savings Bank building is narrow in the back so that trains could pass within a few feet of it, carrying ore out to the docks. In fact, if you want to indulge in a little urban archaeology, stand in the gap between the Savings Bank building and the building just to the south of it. You'll see that that gap lines up perfectly with the bike path in Lower Harbor Park. Why? Well, because the bike path, in fact, the whole park itself, is built on the pilings of the old Jackson Dock. That little gap lines up because that's where the trains used to come through on their way down to the dock.